Thanks for tuning into the channel. I'm Nicholas of One, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the dreaded cast. Now, casting is a massive, massive issue that we see with a lot of golfers that play this game. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about what casting is, and then we're going to talk about what I would call the two major causes of casting. And I'm going to show you a couple of drills that you can implement to help you remove the cast. So if you think you've got this issue, or you don't even know what this issue is, then sit down and watch this video. You never know, it just might help you out. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It's completely free to do. Make sure you hit the bell next to it because it gives you a notification of when my next video is coming out. Now, if you do need a hand in golf lessons, you can come see me here at X Golf Baucata. Or if you're living somewhere else around the world internationally, you can hit me up through Swing AI. It is an app that I use to help, with, help students from all over the world. Now, what is casting first of all? Well, casting means when we're getting to the top of our backswing, we create this angle between our lead arm and our shaft at the top, and when you cast, means you're losing that angle really early. Now, when you lose that angle really early, means you're gonna be losing a lot of speed at the top, at the wrong part of your golf swing. So you're not gonna hit the ball very far, but then you're also gonna introduce the possibility of hitting a lot of fat shots and also a lot of thin shots. So it's very, very important that you do not cast the golf club. Now, the two major causes that I see on a regular basis from students who have the casting issue are people who create too much bend in the arms in their backswing and people who lose their grip at the top of their swing. Now, let's first of all talk about arms bending in the backswing. Now, it's very, very important that we create good pivots and good turns with our body in our backswing. If you do not create good turns and pivots in our backswing, we generally get arms that get active too early in the backswing. So if you get excessive bend in your arms in the backswing, it's because you haven't turned effectively and because you haven't turned effectively and you get those bended arms, you then get to the top of your backswing and when you transition, it's a normal reaction when you create force that your arms extend. So then if you've got extension happening through your arms really early in transition, that pressure is then going to transfer to your lead wrists. And when that pressure transfers to your lead wrists, we lose our angles and we begin to cast. Now, as soon as we start that action here, we then create bad movements into impact and we do not generate club head speed and we create ineffective strikes and the ball goes all over the place. So number one cause, look at how your body's pivoting in the backswing and make sure that when you turn effectively that you're maintaining good arm width in the early parts of your swing. Creating better turn means we're gonna get into a better position at the top and less likely to create that casting action. The second most common one is when I see people get to the top of their backswing and they lose their grip at the top of their swing. Now, losing your grip is a very, very common one. I do see this quite often. And that means, like I said, when you get to the top, we create a separation between the butt of our, uh, of our lead side hand and the grip. And that causes you to create a gap. And then when you change direction, you re-grip it. And because you've done that action, you create that casting action at the top. And again, we lose all our speed really early in the swing we get ineffective strikes and we do not hit the ball a very, very long way. So, simple drills that you need to implement if you have the casting issue. And like I said, we're going way beyond the casting actually happening. We're actually looking at what's causing you to cast. Number one, like I said, if you get too much bend in your arms too early, I want you to do a load of turning drills where you take your back swing and you're trying to get good effective turns. If you get good effective turns, you're gonna be able to keep the arms a lot straighter in the backswing. The, lo the longer the arms stay straighter in the backswing, the more width we generate, and the better positions we get to the top of our backswing, we start to give ourselves a chance of eliminating the cast. So the second one with regards to the grip, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a golf tee, you're gonna place that on the top of your shaft, and what you're trying to do is with your lead hand, you're trying to pin that tee to the grip. 
and you don't want to be losing that T when you get to the top of your backswing. So as much as you can, you have to do this with light hands. It's going to be hard at first because you're going to try and grip it as tight as you can, but the more effectively you do it with light hands, the better it's going to be. So then from there, you're going to take your backswing up to the top. You're going to keep that T pinched between your lead hand and the grip, and that's going to help you retain your angles as much as you possibly can. The better you do that, the more chance you have at eliminating the cast. So there's two quick drills that you can implement or two feelings that you can implement to help you understand why the cast is happening and why you can actually prevent the cast from happening. Casting doesn't happen just because it happens at the top of the backswing. There's generally something that's happened previous to that for it to actually occur. So try those two drills out, try those two feelings and sensations out. Make sure you check to see that these are your feelings and your problems and then try and imp implement those changes and I'm sure you're gonna to start to eliminate the cast. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure you head back to the channel. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. It will give you a notification of when the next video is coming out.